Okay, hello and welcome everybody to another Flight Sim Fan video. We're back, uh, not in DCS or P3 this time, but we're actually just on Google. And uh, this is going to be show you how to use uh, SRS or Simple Radio. You might have heard this in some servers, uh, some big ones, uh, DDCS, Dynamic uh, Server. They have uh, SRS running in that. It's very good to use it in there. Uh, Blue Flag, I believe, uses it. Through the Inferno server uses it. And many, many other servers. Um, 16 AGR server uses it. The dedicated to No Man server uses that one. Uh, and this is a uh, simple radio, so a lot of people, it's a lot of people talk about it, and it sometimes can be a little annoying to install. So I'm gonna try to show you how to install it the best way I can. It's the way that I installed it, and it works for me just fine. And then we're gonna jump into uh, the F-18, and uh, we'll show you how to use the radios in that as well. Uh, it works for every plane, I believe, and uh, if you want to work for the Hornet, you need the most up-to-date version, which is 1.5.20. Uh, this link will be in the description for the video as well, so that'll bring you to that. And that's pretty much all you'll need. So what you need to do is get to this link, and you're going to click on DCS uh, Simple Radio Standalone. You're going to click it, and it'll you know, ask you where you want to save it and everything. I already have it, so I'm not going to re-download it, but you're going to click it and save it there. Once it's all downloaded, it's going to look a little something like this. Now I'm running Renoir, uh, so it'll look like this in Renoir, but it'll have all this stuff here. And what you do is, this is what I did. I don't, I don't know if this is mandatory, but this is what I did. Um, I opened File Browser. I went to this PC. This is where my DCS is located. Mine is my C drive, which for me is my uh, solid state. And then Program Files, Eagle Dynamics, DCS. Now I'm running the beta, so it's a good thing to note that I'm running the beta, but my files are still here. So you got to make sure if you're in beta or regular. And then I just made a simple folder called SRS for Simple Radio. I just made it by right-clicking, going to New, Folder, and then I named it something. So let's get rid of that because I don't want that in here. Yep. And then from there, so I copied and pasted my SRS information from here to this folder. Okay, so once you've copied your SRS download folder into this brand new SRS folder that you've made inside of your program files DCS folder, be it beta or regular, what you're going to do is you're going to double click the installer, press yes, and you're pretty much going to run through all the uh, all the things it says. So just step one, pick an install location. I haven't touched this, I just leave it the same. And so not to DCS, so locate save games folder. So it could change for you, but you got to locate your users and the name of the computer and save games. Uh, you press install and it'll all be good to go. It'll make some, once you hit the install, you get some of these more files. Uh, I think the download's actually shorter without the install there, but once you press the install, you get some more of these files in here. From there after, uh, you're going to want to start Simple Radio for the very first time before you get into DCS or else it won't work that properly. And it's a nightmare to get working after that. So we're going to double click the SRS client radio and you can make a shortcut of this on your desktop, which I'd recommend. But uh, double click. Yes. And SRS window pops up. And uh, starting at the top microphone, you want to make sure it's the microphone you have set, which it is for me. Uh, my speaker is my headset. And I do not want an optional mic. What this does is if you have an optional mic output, you'll hear yourself talking through your headphones when you're transmitting, which is pretty annoying. And it's actually like a real airplane that happens, but I just can't stand it, so I turned it off. Um, next, we're going to use, uh, you're going to need a channel. So it's good to type in the channel prior, uh, or it's good to connect to the channel prior to entering DCS for your first time. Uh, so I'm going to be using the 16AGR uh, simple radio channel. And we'll connect in a little bit. But first, before we do that, also if you see this one, SRS Dynamic CDCS is a great server to play on as well. They have a lot of people on SRS usually. Uh, DDCS is, the, I believe, the server usually at the top of the list. Uh, it's a nice one to plug in there too. And the controls. So I have set, for my controls, I'm using a Thrustmaster Warthog. And just above the speed brake button on that throttle is your mic switch. Now forward is Discord for me. If I hold that button aft, I get radio 1, which will do uh, COM 1 push to talk. If there's a second radio in the airplane like the F-18 has, we'll have a COM 2, which is up for me on my mic switch. And then if there's a COM 3, like the A-10 has COM 3, uh, it's actually my coolie hat pressing in. I don't, use, I don't use radio 3 all too much. Most airplanes don't have three radios. The A-10 does exceptionally. Um, but radio 1, 2, and 3. If you don't have this many buttons, what you can do is set one push to talk button and then have different 
uh, numbers for one, two, and three because you got to make sure that you're you're use, you're transmitting on the radio once. So you can have you know on the keyboard one set for one, two set for two, three for three. So if you want to transmit on radio two, you hit two and then your push to talk button. The way I have it set up is each button is its own push to talk for each radio, if that makes sense. Um, so you can either do it my way or you could just set a push to talk button and then one, two, three for the radio. So you can select between radio one, two, and three. Next, you're going to want an overlay toggle. This is just my uh, enter button on the numpad for my keyboard. And that's pretty much it. You can have a lot more radios if you need any. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the basics. Um, you can favor some servers. As I said, the dynamic uh, DDCS server is a good one to play on. Uh, Blue Flag uses SRS. Simple, uh, Through the Inferno uses Simple Radio as well. If we go to settings, you can adjust this as you like. Um, if you want to auto connect, uh, prompt, you know, radio effects, that kind of stuff. So you can kind of go through this yourself. There's not nothing game breaking in here, or nothing that you can pretty, nothing you can break. I don't think, uh, but you can have that in there. And so we're gonna go back. We're gonna hit connect, and you'll see the client's connected, which is just one right now. Most of the guys are sleeping in the squad, or are just not on. Uh, once you're connected to the server, you can start up DCS, and I'll see you once we're in the airplane. All right, so now we're in the airplane now in the F-18C Hornet. I did a little bit of change of plans. We're in the Through the Inferno server now. Uh, just the briefing has the channel for the SRS. If you scroll down, left alt B to get the briefing up. Uh, server info, SRS channels right here. And you just type that into the SRS client. And we're on the ground, and they actually have frequencies that for the uh, for the SRS players. Now the reason I joined the server is because I thought it'd be cool to hear people reading back to me what I'm t uh, or people responding to me. So public ground frequency is 251 uh, AM decimal zero. So we'll plug that in now. So we'll scroll over the manual and we'll hit 251 decimal zero 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 and enter. We're gonna overlay key uh, which is enter uh, for me on the numpad. So I'm going to change COM1, or COM2, so it's not the same. 251 decimal 000. Ahead, ground, Talon, Harrier, taxing to zero 09 for takeoff. We're at Kashab Airport. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's Kashab Airport. The wind is favoring runway 01 right now, um, just barely. And so we're going to be taxing to runway 01, which is right there, and we're going to hold short Bravo. So what I'm going to say is Kashab traffic, Mr. Boeing, um, taxing runway. 01 via Bravo, holding short at Bravo, Kassab traffic. So the airport name, traffic, and then end with the airport name and traffic. Uh, also, I'm going to ask for a radio check, and that's pretty easy. You just say radio check 251, and whoever, hopefully if they're nice enough, they'll give you the radio check. And they'll, they'll comment uh, either 1 by 5, 4 by 2 by 5, 3, 4, 5 by 5. 5 by 5, by five is the best. 1 by 1 by 5 is the worst. 2 by 5 is, you know, pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> you you want to fix it. 3x5 is readable, but it's still pretty bad. 4x5 is, you know, it's pretty good. And then 5x5 is the uh, the best one that you can get. And I'll post a link in the description for the levels, 1x5 to 5x5, the actual complete levels, because that's just the general um, rules that I was, or the levels that I was giving. So 2972 is the altimeter. Let me just quickly plug that in. Now I'm going to hit my radio 1 button because we're, we're going to transmit radio 1 because we have COM1 right here. The way to do that is we switch to manual mode M and type in our frequency clear 251 decimal 000, enter. So we're going to comment on radio 1. 251 Mr. Boeing radio check, radio check. Alright, cool, cool. So we're good to go. So usually they give you a, um, a number, but we'll get in the air. We'll, we'll try it out there as well. I'd, I'm not really familiarized with them. That might be a military term. I just don't know. You probably comment below. I'll probably get it. Uh, you tell me what it is. However, now we're going to taxi to Romay 01, and I'll uh, say my instructions there. Because I have traffic, Mr. Boeing, going to taxi Romay 01 via Bravo. Going to hold chart Bravo for 01. Because I have traffic. So there's a radio call. We'll hit nose during high. I don't want to hit this guy, so I'm going to take off the parking brake. And we're going to just turn around him. Now, with nose during high mode, I mean, we can just... It's not even an issue. I haven't loaded anything on my plane, not really focusing on blowing stuff up. I'm just going to taxi out. 
and um, get in the air, contact the air to air frequency, and see what he says to me. See what he has for me. So once we get to the hold short line, uh, it's a very good rule just to keep in your mind that obviously there's people on Simple Radio, there's people on Discord, TeamSpeak, there's all these different platforms you can use. Um, so the general rule of see and avoid still is around in uh, DCS because not everyone's on Simple Radio, so not everyone will hear your call. So just keep looking around, making sure you see people departing, arriving, all that great stuff. Uh, had traffic, Talon taking 09 for takeoff. So zero 09 is not here because we have zero 01 and 109, so that's fine. And so we want to hold short just behind the hold short line, and we'll say something like, Mr. Boeing, or Kasab traffic, Mr. Boeing holding short, Romy 01, any inbound or outbound traffic at this time, something like that, uh, just to give them notice of what they're doing, or, uh, or notice that I'm holding short and I want to know if anyone's inbound or outbound. I'm also going to find the airport here, uh, so I can see where we're taking off. Let's say we're taking off. Um, Let's say we're going to go, you know, northwest. So just we'll, we'll keep that in mind for later. We're going northwest when we take off. There we are. Kasab traffic, Mr. Boeing holding short runway 01 at Bravo. Any inbound or outbound of traffic out of uh, Kasab? Kasab traffic. Hoping I'm pronouncing that airport name properly. I'm, I'm sure it's not, but. So look for people. No one's there. No one's, uh, I wouldn't even want to try landing from that side, but no one's departing. No one's departing. No one's arriving. Cassab traffic, Mr. Boeing lining up runway 01. Cassab traffic. So notice that I said lining up. I didn't say taking off. I didn't say rolling. None of that. I'm just lining uh, up. Had traffic, Talon cleared active. Yeah, so he's at a different airport. Because he said 09. That wings are folded. Let's get the brakes. Bring up the power about 80%. Make sure everything's working nicely. Cassab traffic, Mr. Boeing, going to roll 01 northwest departure. Cassab traffic. Full power. And obviously you can also give your, what you're going to exit, so you can exit on the upwind, you can exit on the crosswind, downwind, you know, all that stuff. And there just rotate. No, I forgot I'm so light. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I didn't forget, I forgot to rotate. And you can also give a runway clear message if you like. Cassab traffic, Mr. Boeing, runway zero, uh, zero 01 is clear. Cassab traffic. Uh, so now we're in the air. Let's go to the air-to-air -air frequency. If we're doing air-to-air -air combat, there's also air-to-ground frequency. Uh, there's different frequencies you can have. They're all in the briefing. And I guess got to find it is the problem. There's a lot of stuff in here. There it is. Air-to-air -air 254 decimal zero. So let's go switch over. Let's clear that. 254000. Enter. You can also say, um, before I was, was going to ask for a radio check first, which is good to do uh, right off the bat, so I'll actually do that right now. Mr. Boeing, radio check, 254, radio check. Sky U5 by 5, Charlie 254. Alright, so he said 5 by 5, uh, which is the best quality you can have. Uh, so our mic, that means he can hear us perfectly. And now, if you actually want to be doing the, some combat in the server, you can say, you know, after you got your radio check, Mr. Boeing, uh, out of Kasab Airfield, climbing through Angels 5, ready for tasking, something along that. And if there is AWACS on board, or on the channel, he will direct you to some fighters in the air. But uh, that was kind of a little tutorial of SRS, how it works, how to use it in online, in the Through the Infernal server. And it, um, it works pretty much like this in any other server. You, know, ta you can give your taxiing instructions, you can say what you're doing, uh, just a general, you know, just in general what you're doing, nothing too professional. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'd like to see you on the next one. If this helped, please leave a comment below. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below, and I will be linking the Discord to uh, the squadron I'm part of in the, in the description. I'll download link for SRS in the description, and I'll also link the uh, uh, radio levels of transmission. So I'd like to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.